I am Engineer Shahzad, lecturer in Government College of Technology. Today I am going to show you how to find out the quantity of reinforced cement concrete. In short term, RCC and trapezoidal footing. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. This is the first numerical example from the course book Advanced Quantity Survey Diploma in Associate Engineering and Civil Technology. The 3D view top view and section or elevation of the trapezoidal footing is shown let's come to a numerical example here the dotted line show the ground level and the depth of the footing from the ground level is 60 centimeter plus 30 centimeter is equal to 80 centimeter the column on the footing is 30 centimeter cross 30 centimeter the angle theta show the angle of trapezoidal footing slope portion with the ground level here this theta is equal to that one but now the question is how to find out the base of the footing. Suppose if we have theta equal to 45 degree, then how to calculate the base of the footing? For this case, consider the section or elevation view of the footing. Here the base of the triangle is denoted by h. So the total base will be equal to h plus 30 plus h. Now consider the right angle triangle. The base of the right angle triangle is denoted by h. The perpendicular of the right angle triangle is denoted by V. As we know that tangent theta is equal to perpendicular divided by base. But we need base of the triangle which is equal to perpendicular divided by tangent of theta. By putting the value of perpendicular which is 60 cm in our case and the value of theta is equal to 45. So 60 divided by tangent of 45 is equal to 60 cm. Plug in back the value of h in the equation as we know that base of the footing is equal to h plus 30 plus h. By putting the value of h 60 centimeter plus 30 centimeter plus 60 centimeter so we will get the base of the footing equal to 150 centimeter. Base is actually the length that will be the same as the width of the footing. We are in the position to find out the base area of a footing. So base area is equal to base length multiplied by base width. So base area is equal to 150 cm multiplied by 150 cm or 1.5 meter multiplied by 1.5 meter. So the base area become 2.25 square meter. After finding the base area of the footing, now we are going to find out the mean area. So for the mean area, we require mean length and mean width. For mean length, take the average of column length and base length. For mean width, take the average of column width and base width. Multiply the mean length with mean width, we find out the mean area which is equal to 0.81 square meter. After finding the base area in the mean area, we are now in a position to find out the quantity of reinforced cement concrete and trapezoidal footing. For the simplicity, divide the footing into two portions, that is the slope portion and rectangular portion. We will need to find out its volume that will be equal to the quantity of RCC. For the slope portion, we will use prismodal formula. According to the prismodal formula, volume is equal to d divided by 6 multiplied by a1 plus a2 plus 4 time of the mean area, where d is the depth of the footing, a1 is the top area, a2 is the bottom area. For the foundation base, volume is equal to length multiplied by width and to height or thickness. By putting the value of the top area of the column, base area of the footing and mean area into the equation of prismodal formula, we get the volume is equal to 0.558 cubic meter. For rectangular portion multiply length with width multiply by height we get. Now add these two volume to get the total quantity of reinforced cement concrete for trapezoidal footing. The total quantity of RCC used in this footing is 1.233 cubic meter. Thanks for watching and for latest videos subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.